The ultimate cause of much historical, social and cultural change is the gradual accumulation of human knowledge of the environment. Over a period of thousands of years, human beings learned to identify the materials in their environment and the use of fire to extract, blend and shape metals to meet their needs. The evolution of metallurgy developed an order related to the properties of the metals available to human beings and an increasing human knowledge of these properties makes the current information age possible and continue to shape our lives. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel. In this video, we shall be discussing the evolution of metallurgy through the ages and its impact on modern societies. To ensure to watch till the end, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notification for more content. The modern day use of metals is the attainment of a long path of development stretching over 6,500 years. The earliest recorded metal employed by human appears to be gold which can be found free in nature. It does not rust or corrodes, and undoubtedly it gleaned out from rocks or stream beds, catching the attentions of human in prehistoric times. Small amounts of natural gold have been found in Spanish caves. The most useful material of this early time was stone, so this period is referred to as the Stone Age. The only metal artifacts of this age are beautiful ornaments and simple utensils such as cups and bowls. Fundamental principle of metallurgy discovered during the Stone Age are 1. Finding and recognizing a metal in nature. 2. Cold hammering smaller pieces into larger pieces. 3. Shaping of the metal into a desired form. Beginning in about 4000 BC, it was the discovery of copper that allowed humans to expand the technique of metallurgy. Gold can be agglomerated into larger pieces by cold hammering, but native copper cannot. The essential steps towards the metal age was the discovery that copper could be fashioned into shapes by melting and casting in molds. Thus, copper became the starting point for the invention of alloys. The earliest known product of this types are copper axes cast in the Balkans. The notably greater result obtained by heating native copper with associated oxide minerals may have led to the smelting process. It was discovered that combining copper and tin, a superior metal could be made. This led to the creation of bronze, a metal that ended the Stone Age, and represented a major technological shift known as the Bronze Age in about 3000 to 3500 BC. Bronze is much harder than copper. It was widely adopted and made into weapons tools such as axes, scythers and ornaments. The dominance of bronze ended with the production of iron, a harder and stronger material. The first smelting of iron probably occurred in Anatolia, parts of modern Turkey in 2000 BC. But pure iron is fragile, and the first use of iron were generally ornamental. The first major impact of iron on human civilization was when the Hittites began smelting iron from its ores at higher temperature around 1500 BC. Iron is smelted from its ores at around 1200 degrees Celsius and melt at 1528 degrees Celsius. The Hittites used furnace lined with clay to produce the temperature required to smelt the iron ore. The ore and wood were placed in the furnace to burn, and the wood became charcoal. Carbon in the charcoal combines with oxygen in the iron ore to produce an oxide of carbon in the iron in the form of a spongy mass. It was being fashioned on quite a large scale into weapons, initially dagger. For this reason, 1200 BC has been taken as the beginning of the Iron Age. The furnace available to ancient metallurgy did not produce enough heat to melt the iron to produce cast iron. The situation was different in China, where better furnaces and iron ore with a high phosphorus content, which produced iron that melted at relatively low temperature, allowed the production of cast iron. In Europe, an improved furnace was invented in Catalonia. It was not until the 14th century that iron smelting furnace capable of melting iron were built in Europe. The furnace were known as blast furnace and was substantially larger than the earlier furnaces. The Iron Age lasted over 1000 years in Europe and Iron Age cultures were still dominant in some areas of Africa into the 19th century. Impacts of these evolutions on the present day use of metals and its effect on modern societies. The development of metallurgy has a profound effect upon the environment and the relationship between human and nature. Wherever iron was introduced, deforestation and an increase in agriculture followed. 
mining operation leached acids and toxic minerals, including mercury and arsenic into nearby water. Waste product fouled the land and air. The smelting of lead around 150 BC in Rome produced clouds of toxic gas, so extensive that a record of the air pollution is evident today in ice deposit in Greenland. Metals are of such social and historical importance that two eras were named for them. The Bronze Age and the Iron Age. Bronze was used for tools, utensils and uniquely expressionistic ornaments. Bronze also made the sword possible, the first specialized tool for combat. Before the Bronze Age, warfare was informal and disorganized. With the introduction of bronze, artisans who created weapons and defense ornaments came to be. Campaign of conquest became possible, and fortifications were built to defend newly arising cities, trade routes and the source of tin and copper ores. Bronze was so versatile and central to economies, that even after effective production methods for iron were developed, it took centuries for the new metal to supplant bronze. The Iron Age was ushered into the world, with the clank and clatters of the blacksmith's anvil. The transition from the Bronze Age occurred at different times in different spots on the globe. The distinctive dark metal brought with it significant changes to daily life in ancient society, from the way people grew crops to the way they fought wars. Extending and revolutionizing agriculture and putting high-quality weapons into the hand of large masses of people. While the bronze sword was a stabbing tool, the iron sword was a slashing tool, making equestrian warfare possible and allowing extended large-scale battles. Through the Industrial Revolution, Iron Age helped Britain become the foremost industrial power and into today in its more sophisticated form, steel. As a material, iron was so important to the new factories and their machinery that it almost single-handedly propelled Britain, which had generous deposit of the mineral, to the forefront of industrial powerhouses. But savvy industrialists quickly realized that basic wrought iron wasn't durable enough to keep up with the hard wear and tear its byproduct were experiencing such as the relentless clickety clack of trains over its rails. The answer was steel, an alloy made mostly of iron and some carbon or other metals. It was a mass produced for the first time in the late 1800. And today, it is the world's most important building material, 3000 years after iron ore was first plucked from the ground with curiosity. Settlement became more permanent during the Iron Age. The Iron Age was an age of kings and heroes, and this is reflected in our lifestyle today.